I'm not afraid. Yeah. It's been a ride. I guess I had to go to that place to get to this one. Now some of you might still be in that place if you're trying to get out. I'm back again with another video. This time, um, I made a trap. Well, I didn't made it. I didn't had it. Uh, and shout out to Wood Doc 2011. He made this trap also. So I thought I, I thought I would do a video also. And this is, well, I'm not gonna be. You can use this for a dead fall trap, or you can use a bucket instead of this wood or a brick. But for this demonstration, I'm just using a block of wood. So this could be a dead fall, a dead fall trap or a cage trap. So here it is. Here's the trigger right here, and it hold up right there. Right, that goes like that. I'm gonna show you how the trigger works. Uh, all right, okay. An animal come along, so as for a squirrel. I have um, I'm gonna put a few um, peanut butter on the steak right there. So he'll bump it or come nibbling on it. Let me zoom out, okay. Okay, just push it. Okay, that will happen. All right, this is how you set it up. Okay, this is how you set it up. And what you need is, uh, darn it, you're gonna need this stick right here, and here's the groove on the stick. The grooves on it. So what you need this stick right here. This is basically your main stick right here. So say you have a brick or a bucket, you stick it under. Then you come with this stick. It's sharp on the edge. Sharp on that side. Sharp on that side. So sharp. And you cut a groove in it right there. A groove right there. And what you want to do is you want to take this stick right here and use the groove from this stick and put it right there. You see? You see the little groove and take the stick and you put it right there. So it should be looking something like this. So, so you want to do that and then it should be... Oh. Should be looking something like that. Sorry, I don't have a camera guy. I just have my camera sitting on this chair. And then you want to come with your other stick, which you have a groove cut in it, right there, and a groove cut at the end of it, right there. So you want to put it right here. So yeah, this is a pretty good trap. Instead of using this wood right here, you can use a brick, or you can use a bucket, or a cage, or whatever. It don't necessarily have to be the same thing, a piece of wood. It could be anything. So, you just now seen the trap in motion, how the trap works. So, uh, go ahead and rate my video. First, I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid to take a stand.